Hello YouTube and welcome back to another 3D Ross tutorial. It's just a quick one today, I'm going to show you how to create masks and RGB pack them. So we can use them in Unreal Engine and procedurally control them, like the intensity, the intensity of each individual mask and also the colour. So I've got masks in Unreal Engine, uh, in Photoshop rather, my black and white mask, this is mask 2, that is mask 1. And usually you'd import these in separately, so I'd have one mask and then another mask. But we can pack them into one texture map. So what we can do is we can get our first mask, for example. And if we double click on it, we'll get the layer properties. And what you want to do under channels is uncheck all of them apart from one. So I'm going to make this the red channel and press OK that will make our mask 1 red. If we go to mask 2, double click and do the same but this will be our green channel. Press OK and then if you had another mask here you just do the same, double click and then make this the blue channel. But for now I only have two masks so I'm going to leave it at that. You want to make sure both of them are visible and then you save this texture out and then when you bring it to Unreal Engine, you add it to your material that you want to apply the masks to. So here I have it here. And this is our texture that we just made from Photoshop. And with that, the red channel is our mask one, the green channel is our mask two. So I just plug the red channel into the B of a loop and then added a one and then we use our mask alpha to change the intensity of it. So one being full, zero being no mask applied at all. So no overlay. And then I did the same for mask two. So dragging the green channel out, adding that a B, and then I multiplied these together. And then once that was multiplied together, I did a loop. And in the alpha for that, I created an overall mask intensity. That way, when we've got our instance, we can drag the overall intensity down and it'll apply to both masks. And then from there, what I did is, so this is the base color of my dragon. This is the base color of the material. And then I wanted to add this kind of moss and lichen on top. So I got the base colour, plugged that into the bottom of a loop, and then I create I got the colour for my lichen, but then I also multiplied it with a colour so I can control the colour. Added it in multiply and made it a parameter so I can control the intensity of the colour. Loop that together and our alpha is going to be the masks that we had before. So the end result of the final loop. And I'm just gonna plug that into that alpha. And I basically did this for every single channel. And one thing to know if you're doing lichen like me, but you've got different types of masks, make sure you only do one map for the lichen instead of one for each mask because that'll take up too much texture memory. So what I did is I got a texture of the whole model covered in lichen and then I just controlled it through the masks. And he, here's another packed map. This is the metal roughness ambient occlusion. So blue being metal, green being roughness, red being ambient occlusion. And just for each channel, I just did the same. The red of our lichen and the red of my base material stone for the dragon into the loop, and then the alpha is our mask. And then I just left them together and put, plug the final results into the outputs. And then of course you want to make sure that the mask values are parameters. And then that way, when you right click the material, create material instance, apply that to your model, then you have full control over your masks. And obviously using this method as well, you'll be able to offset the mask so you can change the positioning but because my material's flat, if I change something like the tile and the positioning, 
I'll get cuttings of the material, cuttings of the mask, because the texture map is not flat, it's kind of all over the place at the moment. But uh, yeah, I hopefully, hopefully this tutorial helped you in creating packed RGB maps for masks using Photoshop and then for using Unreal Engine. And I'm sorry that my other videos are taking a while to get out. I've just got a lot of uni work and project work at the minute. So hopefully I'll have my second photogrammetry video up soon. And in the meantime, if it takes longer than expected, I'll just throw out little helpful tutorials like this once in a while. So yeah, hopefully this helps you. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.